this is another crafty soft video and today i am going to show you how to build this amazing treehouse okay let's start with the tour so we can start by circling around on the outside here oh if i don't hit a tree yeah i guess it is a tree house it needs to be in the forest well that's okay so this is it some windows around the outside pretty basic and then there's this little patio out here on this side and then the underneath and then i actually built this in my survival world if you want to go and see that so this is very survival friendly and another thing i added down here in this little bit here there's like a little like handy crafting table and chest in case you needed anything fast so that way you don't have to run the whole way back up into the house anyway let's actually go inside the house and then you can see there's a little table here the kitchen with a little counter and a sink and a furnace this little thing here hanging some lanterns and a picture in the back some nice tall ceilings over here is a little crafting table in the closet. And then in here, a small bedroom here with a chest and some bookshelves. And then a bathroom in here with a shower. And then a toilet and a sink. Small, but it works. And then over here, in this other door, is the bigger bedroom in here you can see it was even more bookshelves and even bigger chest and then if we go back out here just a simple couch here with a plant in the side keep it green okay well let's get building this place so as i said just a second ago these are all your blocks you can pause the video here if you want to get a closer look at them and we are going to get started. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do to create this amazing treehouse here is go right in the center of all these blocks. We're going to find the center here, and then we're going to place one block out all along it. So nine blocks right in the center, just like this. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four blocks up with the oak logs in all the corners. So four towers of four blocks up, just like this. And then we're gonna fill in three towers, just like this, of four blocks up of the oak planks. And we're going to leave this the front, the, this is going to be where the front of your tree house is right here. And we're just gonna place two blocks there. And that's where the little thing is going to go, where the crafting table and chest are. And then over on these blocks here, we're going to place one, two, three, four blocks up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Out the way, sheep. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So they are all three blocks apart. So three blocks apart here. And then one, two, three on the fourth block for these. And the diagonals do look like they're a little bit more because the diagonals look bigger. So you should have four sets of two along here. And it should look like this. Now the next thing we're going to do is build all of those on the outsides up by one more block. So that way they're five blocks tall. And then we're just going to place across the non-diagonal bits three logs at the very top. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then that's done the whole way around. And then... We are going to get our oak wood with the all the bark the whole way around it. And then we're going to just place them, placing some temporary blocks, we're going to place them on a diagonal, connecting 
the thing, so I have to place some temporary blocks here to put them in, just like that. And then they should be three blocks across, just like that on a diagonal, the whole way around. And then when we step back here, we should have a nice circle. Yes. Okay. So, we're going to start filling in the floor now. So, we are going to take our tough blocks here, and we are going to go from the side here where the porch is going to be built on. So, looking at the treehouse, it is going to be on the right side. We're going to place one block right in the center here, and then one right beside it. These two blocks here, then we're going to bring them out. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, it should reach the edge of that right there. And then... We're going to bring them back to make a little area like this. Let's take a little peek at how I did it here on this one. So it looks like then we went one, two blocks out from here with three blocks across and then we went down to two blocks just like that. So that way we have this weird leg looking thing here. And now we're going to put in the bathroom. So along here on the second block, so this is where our door is going to be right here. There's another block right here. So then this is going to go into the bathroom here. So that way you come from this corner right here and then we're going to go out one, two, three, four blocks all the way to the edge. And then we're going to go another four blocks from this block that we just placed. And then we're going to go one, two, three blocks. And then skip this little corner block here. Uh, yeah, that looks right. And then the next thing we're going to do is then just fill in all the rest of this inside here with wood. Here in just a second. But this is the shape you should have. It's a pretty weird shape. Okay, now I'm just going to fill in all of this here. Just one layer thick with the, with the oak planks going all around our tuft that we have along there. And in this little slice here. And then it should all be four blocks up. And then you should now have a platform with a very weird shape on it. Don't worry, it'll make a lot more sense once all the walls are up. Okay, so now where we have all the tops of the wood here for the posts, the supports for the treehouse, we're going to go one, two, three, four blocks up. One, two, three, four blocks up on all of them, four blocks, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There we go. So then we have same thing as what we had down below, except for it's on top of the platform now. And then three blocks across right here. So these, these bits are not four blocks tall. They're only three blocks tall, unlike these bits here. But other than that, this bit here should be looking somewhat familiar. There's three blocks across, and you can probably guess what we do next. Place some temporary blocks here, then place three blocks across diagonal with the oak wood with all the bar bark around it. And then we do that on all the diagonal sides, going three blocks along. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Now we should have a second nice circle. Treehouse is starting to come together. It'll look good in no time. Okay. So, this right here where our door is going to be, the little porch area is going to be right out here. So this is where you built the tuff right up to. 
it should be to the side of your door, which is going to be over here. And then we're just going to place three on either side, then one at the top, simple thing like that. This wall we're going to leave completely open, that's going to be the big window, this window right here. And then, we go right over to this one, this is going to be right at the front of the treehouse, so it's going to be the same side as your little door down there, three blocks up on either side. And then over here on this diagonal bit right beside it. So I can never place the blocks. Three blocks up on either side. There's a lot of three blocks in this thing. And then right here, this one's actually different. There's three blocks in the middle, and then we have two windows on either side. So it's just three blocks in the middle going up. And then over here, it's just a solid wall. So we can go and fill this in. Just a three by three of diagonal blocks there. And then right here, three in the middle, we have another one of those separated windows. Then on this diagonal here, it's like that other window we made over there. Three blocks on either side, leaving three blocks in the center, just like that. Okay, so that's all the walls done. We are making really good progress with this place. So let's see what we should do now. Noah, let's move on a little bit. Let's go ahead over to the little porch or balcony over here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six blocks up. Okay. So right here, so this is two blocks away from the pillar where your door is, which is on the side of the door of this bit here. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six blocks up. So it should be one block above the first bottom support here. And then one block away from it, Right alongside it, the treehouse still we're going six blocks up again. And diagonal from it, one block, six blocks up, one block, six blocks up, diagonal, one block, six blocks up, one block, six blocks up, diagonal, one block, six blocks up, one block, six blocks up. Okay, so now we should have a whole bunch of posts that looks like a very dense Herobrine forest. Okay, now let's actually connect these. So one block from the top, we're gonna place one block in between all these, just like that. Actually, no, let's not do it that way. So we're actually going to get the slabs, the oak slabs, yeah, the oak slabs, and then place them in those gaps instead of the logs. Yeah, except for this gap here, right by the door. This one's going to be a full block. It's going to be an oak, an oak plank there. And then, on the diagonals here, I'm gonna place some temporary blocks right in the middle here on the same level. So it should have a full block here right on top of the slab. And we're going to fill in all these little corners here with one just like that. So we should have a very thin looking circle with one block, with a full block over here, closer to the door. Now the rest of this we're just going to fill in with oak planks here. So it should be a nine, a nine blocks here in the center, a three by three, and then three blocks along the outsides here, just like that. So we should have a nice little structure going there. Now the next thing we're going to do is on the back side of your treehouse, so like the side where the full wall is here and then your two windows and then your one window, the opposite side of the door down here, we're going to place one, two blocks, same level as this, same level as the door for the treehouse, two slabs along there, and then four oak planks facing in this direction here. Next, we're going to get out our oak stairs. So we're going to place them like this, like this, and like this, and then like this, and then like this, and then like this, and like that. And we're gonna break some blocks here and go like that. And then we're gonna go like that. And we're gonna fill in the blocks. And then we're gonna break these two blocks and go like that. 
Okay. So I went down one, two, three, four, five blocks of stairs, and then one, two blocks of oak planks dug into the ground here. Just like that. So that way we have a long staircase, just like this one over here. Now, you might have also noticed, just like that one over there, we have to put the trap doors on it. So on the edges of the stairs, I'm going to place trap doors going all the way up. So one, two, three, four, five trap doors going up like this. Then the same on the other side. Just like that on our two block wide staircase here. Just like this. And then we're just going to do a little bit of shifting here. So that we can place a second layer of trap doors right on top of those trap doors. So that way we have two blocks tall everywhere except for this first block right here. This block isn't two blocks tall. That's just one block. And then I'm going to take this the whole way up and maybe not misplace the trap doors. There we go. And then we have a staircase with a nice with a nice safe railing here so that way you don't go flying off. And then right here at the end, we're just going to put two up, just like that. Okay. So, now this bit's a little bit tricky, because you have to place some temporary blocks, and then, yeah. So we're actually going to go on the outside of the block with the two trap doors here, which means you're going to have to place temporary blocks for the corner here. And then in the center, you can just place it right on the... And then this corner, more temporary blocks, so that way we so that way we can maximize the space. And then right here we're just gonna go right on the inside there. Same thing here with the temporary blocks, two temporary blocks, and then place it like that. And then one in the center there. Only one temporary block for this one. Place it on the outside here, and then this one goes on the inside actually because this trap door right here keeps it from going on the outside unlike all the others so that bit is a little bit different so I need to watch out for that bit now hmm, let's see here what should we do next let's get back to work on the treehouse let's put in some of the windows okay so this big window right up here, right near the stairs. It's a completely open wall. Three, three, three. Just fill in the whole, the whole wall with glass, with blocks of glass. Then going right up here to the front, where the front of this little opening here is. We're just gonna place three glass panes going up. Then right here in the corner, three glass blocks going up. And then we get to this more interesting window here. Just three glass panes on either side and then the flat wall here and then we're on the very back of the treehouse three blocks up three blocks up on the glass panes and then glass blocks three blocks up right here and then we're back over to the door okay so next let's get to work on the roof so this is a very complicated roof here. You can sort of let you guys get a bit of a look at it. It's sort of just like a tapered up sort of circle. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six layers, but the six layer is only one block because it's just right at the top there. And then it has an overhang of one, except for here on the corners, it has an overhang of two. So let's get started with that. So right here at the front where your stairs go out to, where this is facing to, right beside this wall and this wall here. I'm gonna place one, two, three, four, five on the upper half of the top block here. Then we're gonna go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, just like that, so that we have two blocks overhang. Then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. And I put a block, I placed a block right on this slab here as well. So that way it's an extra block there. So we're going to go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Then starting on this block here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then starting on this block right here, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Then one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then we place one block right here and there. So we should have it hanging over, a nice little overhang here. On the edges, it's two blocks from one of these things here, and then we'll, on the flat edges, it's one block, just like this. And then, the next thing we're going to do is go from the very front, where the stairs are going out, one, two, three, four, five blocks. We're going to go in one block, so it's going to overhang, actually, over the wall, one block. I'm going to go two blocks across there, just like this. So, these outer corners, it, on the second layer, it's one, two, three, four four blocks and then we're gonna go put a fifth one right here and then go one counting this block one two three four five and we're gonna overhang our block by one do our two blocks the way across going like this and then place our extra corner here and then place our other four blocks along here place our overhanging block place our set to two that overhang place a little bit here at the corner and then go across like this, place our overhanging block, set to two, and then we are back around for the second layer of the roof to be completed. Now we're going to have to place some temporary blocks here for this next bit, since so this is going to be at the top of a slab again, with our cobble deep slate slabs here. And we're going to go three blocks here, right at the front, on our third layer. And go out one, in. So we are placing our two blocks in diagonal here. Going along. And then three blocks. Going out on diagonal. So that's one, two, three. Four blocks of diagonal down in the outer bit. And one block here. And then going the whole way around. Just like this. And then placing that extra corner bit there. So that's the third layer. Now, this is actually where it starts to turn into less of a circle and a bit more of a diamond or a sideways square. So we're going to place a temporary block here so we can get another one, another block up. So we're going to place one right there at the center. And then we're going to place three across the back of it here. I'm going to go one, two, two sets of three, so like this little L shape here, and then three blocks across, and then fill in this little block here, make a little L shape, three blocks across, fill a little block in here, L shape, three blocks across, one block here, and then L shape. And then we should end up with this smaller square here with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little blocks sort of poking into it there. I have to place another temporary block here. That one's a bit tricky there. So that way we have our block right here at the front for our one, two, three, four. This is our fifth layer, so second to last layer. Then we're going to place another block out like this. And then we're going to place one on either side to make that little shape we did. Three. And then this, we're actually just going to put the L on this side. Another L here, and then just two blocks to fill in right there. Then we should have a little one block hole in the top of the roof here. And then we can put one on there. Now, that roof was really complicated, so if you didn't quite get that, you can just sort of put any simple slab roof on there. You could make it even a bit pointier if you want to. You can change that up, it won't really affect the look of the treehouse that much. Okay, so let's actually get started with the inside. So, the door is right here. You see we have two blocks on this side, one block on this side. We want the side with one block here. And then we're going to actually skip this block right here. And go one, two, three blocks up. And then we're going to want to place a block right on the top, just like that. And then we're going to go one, two, three blocks over. And then three blocks up, so for a total of a four by three block wall. Then we're going to take our oak logs, go up three blocks, 
And they're actually going to go up two more blocks. So it will be three, four, five blocks tall. Then across the wall we just built, place some more oak logs. That's one, two, three, four, five blocks of oak logs across there. So that way we have our closet there. And then right here in the center, so one block from the pillar here and then two blocks from the closet. We're just going to break two blocks out. And that's where our door into this room is going to go. Now right along here we're going to place three blocks by three blocks. Just right here, this is going to be a wall in between the bathroom here. And then three blocks of oak logs right on the top of it there. Just like that. And the next thing we are going to do here is place right here. So that's diagonal to this pillar right here. One, two, three, four, five blocks up. Go away to the roof. So we have both of these pillars here, just like this. I'm going to build this wall one, two, three, four, five blocks across, just like this. I'm going to go counting this block one, two, three, three blocks up. And then we're just going to fill in that wall here. So we have a nice little wall here. And then right here at this block, one block away from the edge of the wall here and three blocks from this side I'm going to break two blocks for a little door here and then on top of that wall I'm gonna place one two three four five blocks of oak logs going across and then right over here we are going to go up right here in between these one two three blocks and then, ooh, let's see here, um, ah, we are going to place one, two, three blocks up right here, then leave this little gap here, so this is sort of like a little spot here, and then three blocks here and here, just like this, so that way we have a shape that looks like this, and actually, this wall here is actually in a block, I think, like that. Yeah, that looks more right. So that way we have six blocks here with these extra blocks here by the window, just like this. And I'm gonna place one block there. So that way we have our door into the bathroom here, just like that. And then if we go out here, we should have three blocks along till we get right here. Then we should have four blocks of a bit less space right there. So, the next thing we're going to do is, if we can get in here, and to go around through the bathroom here, place one block of our all completely barked oak log, and then we're going to place another block right there, and then another one right there, so it's just sort of over the top of the wall, and then two regular oak logs right across the top. This bit's sort of complicated here. And then on top of that, we're going to place, we are going to place an oak log right here, actually. So that's right over, so we have three blocks here, and then an oak log right there. And then we are going to place one, two blocks of oak planks right on the top of these bits here. So that way, we should have something that looks like this. And then we're going to place two blocks on this side, and then two blocks on this side. And there we go. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to go out one. Actually, hmm, yeah. So from this this little part here where it goes in, one, two, three. Three oak logs here. And then we're going to place one of these. Actually, hmm, do we want this to be a bit longer? Because, yeah, actually, let's make it a bit longer. So one, two, three, four blocks going out like this. So one block away from this wall here. And then we're going to place our fully barked wood right here. And then one piece of wood going back, just like this. So then this is going to be where the kitchen is, right along here. And then doors right over here for this. 
Now we're just going to find all these little gaps here and fill them in. So there's one there, there's two blocks there, one block up here, one block right on top of here, and then two blocks over here. Just like that. Nice and simple. And then right in here on this room, right beside the closet, right near the door, we're going to go up. We're going to go up three blocks and then a half a block. And then we're just going to place the slab across here. And this ceiling here is just going to be completely flat with the cobble deep slate slabs. And then we're going to go into the bathroom over here and do that same thing three and a half blocks up. And then we're just going to place the cobble, the cobble deep slate slabs right across the roof there. Cobble deep slate slab. That's like a tongue twister there. Try and say that ten times really fast. Okay, uh, let's move on to lighting up since it's looking pretty dark right now. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the lanterns and the torches. Then we're going to go at this log right here by the by the stairs. We're going to go that one, skip that one, that one, that one, and that one. Just to make a little pattern there. You can put lanterns on all of them there. I just thought it's a lot cheaper to only have four on here and it gets the job done plenty plenty good with all the lighting. Actually, that's probably even too much lighting if you wanted to remove some of those. And then down here in this little thing, torch right up there at the top block. And then if we go inside here, we're going to place one, two, Lanterns, so that's one block away from the corner in the wall here with one block in the center just like that And then in here torch right above the door in this little bedroom here to the side the bathroom same thing torch right above there and Then in the bigger bedroom here Going to place one lantern right here, and then while we're in here. We're going to place one one oak plank and then we're going to place one deep slate couple deep slate slab to fill that bit in there and then if you want to you could also fill that bit in and maybe shape the roof a little bit better if you wanted to okay so that is the inside mostly done let's just go ahead and get the doors in I think it's time for those so we can place the front door on here just a whole just a bunch of oak doors this one's actually going to go on the outside of the block so that way we can go ahead and place our crafting table right in this little nook here. Then place the door in there, and in there, and then one right in here. Okay, so that's all doors in, except, except for this door right down here, which we're also placing on the inside right there. Crafting table right in there, and then chest right on the top, just like that. Okay, so. Let's get started actually furnishing the inside of this place. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is at this two block little spot here, we're going to place a chest, and then right in front of it, three blocks of dark green carpet. And then right here, block there, block there, and then a plank right in the center, just like that, so that way we have our little seating area here. And then one piece of carpet right here at the back. And then one, two, three, four pieces of carpet along the side of it. Then we're going to fill in these two bits here. And then these two bits here. Now we're going over here in the corner. I'm going to place a composter with two leaves up here on the top. And then if I go ahead and grab some birch wood here, we can make our couch over here off to the side. Just in that little space there. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is right here on the edge of the carpet here right near the door we're going to place one block skip two blocks place a block there so there should be a block on this side and a block on this side then we're going to place one furnace and then one cauldron and then we're going to put water in the cauldron just like that okay so now there's only one thing missing and that is the painting
There it is. Okay. That took a while. Now you can put any painting you want there. I just thought this one looks really good there with all the with the cake and stuff. It just sort of fits in with the kitchen vibes. Okay. So now into this little bedroom off to the side here. We are going to place a brown bed right here in the corner. And then place an oak stair with the little cutout bit facing down for the little nightstand there. And then if we get some bookshelves and a chest here, we can go ahead and place two bookshelves and then a chest up here at the top. Just like that. And then with the carpet, if I find the carpet again here. Oh, there it is, right over there. We're gonna place these four blocks here, and then one block in front of the bed. And also, for the picture now. There we go. That one looks good. Who? Who was that? Uh -huh. Okay, let's go on to this bedroom now, the bigger bedroom over here. So we're going to place a right in this little area here where it juts out one block, two blocks, two brown beds. And then same thing, one oak stair with the little bit facing downward. And then over here in this little corner, four bookshelves. And then two, a double chest right on the top here, just like that. And then I'm going to place the green carpet along everywhere in the floor where there isn't anything, and you actually can place it, just like that. Oh, I keep almost forgetting the painting. This one's gonna be tricky as well. Yeah, you can do any size painting or anything you want here. That one will work. It doesn't really matter all that much. Okay, so we are actually mostly done here. We just need to do the bathroom. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So, we are just going to get a quartz, or smooth quartz, little stair right there. And then we're going to place a birch trap door right on the top and flip it up, just like that. Now, if you don't have quartz yet and you're building this in a survival world, you could just use birch. It doesn't look quite as good, but it still looks pretty good. That's what I did in my survival world. And then, this last bit here is a bit tricky. Place three oak trap doors along here, right on the block of the window. Just to sort of give a little bit of a barrier between the window there for some privacy. And then we're going to place a birch door right here in this corner on this block, since it looks like a little, little shower thing there. And then a tripwire hook up the top. And another tripwire hook one block down. So this is third on the third block. And this is one block up with a cauldron. And then we can go ahead and fill that with water as well. And that's the sink done. And you know what? I didn't add this on the actual on the actual on the other house over there. But you can go ahead and add a bonus painting right there. Okay. Well, I think that's about it for this house. Oh wait, I forgot the patio furniture. One moment. So we just quickly need some cobblestone here. Cobblestone stairs and slabs. And some temporary blocks on either side. To place the stairs facing down, and then the slab in the middle. And then two chairs on either side. And then if you want to, you can put some signs on them or something to make the give them some arm arm rests if you wanted to but okay well i think that is this place finished this has been another crafty saucer video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe too while you're at it what does this button do huh uh oh that didn't sound good uh Okay. Well, that's okay. We have this treehouse over here.